Well, with Tackle, we came together with teachers uh, from other schools. Uh, there are three teachers per school, one math, one English, and one um, uh, science. Actually, before this, uh, I think I've only collaborated with English teachers outside of the school. In terms of cross-curricular planning, I didn't do any of that. I had no experience with it at all. Collaborating with teachers outside of my curriculum for the first time was uh, scary at first, but it's, it made complete sense when we all talked about the real issues at hand. When we turned it into a real-world problem, it made a lot more sense, and we were able to uh, apply a lot more to our, um, to our own curriculum. And I think that's going to impact students a lot as well. It's going to make whatever they're learning and the standards they're using to learn them a lot more applicable to their real lives, to real-world issues. The topic in our case was polar ice caps melting um, and global warming. So Ms. Scheffler with biology was able to uh, approach that with um, a bunch of articles and the discussion, the debate on global warming um, and how it impacts animals and, and uh, animal lives uh, in, the, in the region and all around the world. Uh, with Rob Leishner, he looked at uh, exponential decay. In my case, for English too, uh, we were right around the corner for argumentation unit and we were easily able to pick out arguments from both sides of the topic, of the issue. Um, one side was for, for people who believe that global warming is an issue, the other side was for people who, one, maybe did not think it was actually happening, or two, um, didn't take it as a serious issue and thought that we should focus on other global issues. Uh, so we were able to get quotes and evidence from either side incorporated. One of the biggest impacts of being able to collaborate with uh, teachers outside of my curriculum was making whatever we were learning in terms of argumentation and persuasion applicable to something in the real world, uh, particularly with uh, biology, because students make more sense of what we're arguing for if they know who and what it impacts. So for example, the polar bears, the penguins that, uh, that had lives being changed because of the melting ice caps, they were able to re relate and to, uh, to care about these animals and the rest of the world and make, some, make it uh, applicable to their own lives. Collaboration is probably the most important and easiest way to do our job as teachers. So this definitely made me step outside of my comfort shoes, outside of my comfort zone uh, as a teacher. At the same time, it opened doors for a lot of other possibilities because when you're only teaching English, it can only make so much sense to a kid. If you incorporate math and science into it in the real world, they're going to have a lot more passion behind it and they're going to make a lot more sense out of it um, and they might apply it in the future. I think that um, the model for Tackle and ISKME can can work on a national level because of the technology that allows us to share so conveniently, um, easily, uh, and comprehensively. The sites like OER really uh, opened doors for that because we were able to collaborate with teachers from around the world, borrow ideas. I wasn't expecting uh, Tackle to be so widespread nationwide. I was expecting when I first got into this program and this project, I thought it was just going to be me and two other teachers from my school. Uh, but I was really surprised at how vast the information and the sharing could be uh, because it was nationwide. And in this day and age, its um, possibilities are limitless. My advice for teachers um, looking to collaborate would be to have an open mind. When I first got into this project, I really was um, hesitant to try to collaborate with math, especially just because math and English are the furthest things. Uh, science I can get, social studies I can get, uh, but with math, um, applying mathematics to English didn't work in my mind yet at the time, but when I actually had a conversation with a mathematics teacher, uh, looked on the, on the websites for resources available, I was able to see that math is applied to the real world every single day. And the real world um, is influenced 
with what we learn in English. So that, that's how I was able to connect it. And that's the biggest thing that was surprising to me. And my, recommend, my recommendation, therefore, for teachers would be to keep an open mind.